I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll see how to plot points with polar coordinates. The question here is, plot the points with following polar coordinates. A is 2 minus pi by 4 and B is minus 3, 5 pi by 4. So in the first one, we have taken theta as negative and in the second one, we have taken the value of r as negative and we will see how to plot them on polar coordinates, right? Uh, normally, on polar coordinates, we only define the polar axis, which is from origin, the pole, towards the right. So that is the polar axis. And then, if we have two, let's do the first one, which is r is two. That means the length of our line segment or distance from the pole is 2 units and minus pi by 4 is theta, the angle. Now in this case, r is 2 for us, theta is minus pi by 4. Now what is the meaning of minus? Minus means that we should go clockwise, right? This is what it means. So it is clockwise direction, which is minus. So minus pi by 4 really means that we have to move from the initial arm clockwise pi by 4, right? It's kind of like that much. So this is minus pi by 2. Here we have pi by 2. And pi by 4 will be midway between them. So that seems to be pi by 4. So somewhere along this ray, we have our point And we have to mark two units to get to the point. And let us say this distance here gives two units. So this is one unit for us and that is two units. So this distance becomes two units, right? From here to here, that is two units. And the angle is pi by four. Since it is taken in clockwise direction, it will be considered negative, right? So that is how we go plot the given point. Let's call this point as A. In that case, this point will be A. Now let's look into the second point. Here we have minus 3 as the magnitude. Now as you know, magnitude cannot be negative. So it is always positive. How to represent it on a polar coordinate? The concept here is that negative is kind of reflection of the positive about the origin. So that is the concept, right? So what we will do here is that we will plot a point which will be actually 3, 5, pi by 4, and then we'll see its reflection about the origin. That's the concept. So first, always look for the angle and sketch the ray. The angle is 5, pi by 4. 5 pi by 4 means this is pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 4 pi by 4, and 5 pi by 4 is this direction. Now on this, we are looking for a magnitude of 3. So if that much is 1 unit, 2 units, 3 units is around that much. So this point is basically 3, 5 pi by 4. So that is the coordinate point 3 pi by 4 we really need is minus 3, 5, pi by 4. So that is going to be the reflection of this point, right? So we found this angle to be 5, pi by 4, and the magnitude here is 3. To get minus 3 as the magnitude, right, we kind of reflect it on the pole itself, so it should be in quadrant 1, if we are considering so three units so one two and three so this point will represent the point b whose r will be considered as negative since it is being reflected on the pole so this point will be minus three five pi by four right so i hope that is clear that is how you represent a coordinate point in a polar system where r value is negative I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this concept helps you to understand 
how to represent negative theta value and negative r, the distance from pole. Thank you and all the best.